Found them a little easy. And why guinea pigs? Give it up, Scooby Doo. I'm a ghost from the revolution. You're a dog. Hello. Little more street cred here. Come back. We're missing something. <laughs> little and the Infernicus. That's Lord Infernicus. Get it right, sidekick. <laughs> 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 We're trapped! Yeah! Time is running out, sidekicks! Of course, you can always give up! <laughs> Flamey man gone. And so is woo -woo 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 -woo, the Funky Phantom. What do we do now, Scooby-Doo? Only thing we can do. Solve this mystery before it's too late. Oh, this is horrible. My noise can't take anymore. <laughs> Me fix fish. Thanks, I needed that. Hmm. Look at this. What's it say? What's it say? Me no be able to read modern ink symbols. Modern ink symbols mock Captain Caveman. I can read. I help Shaggy with his homework sometimes. Something about a ship leaving from Crystal Cove docks. That's outside the school. <laughs> we can't leave. <laughs> we need to find Angel and the others. Lead the way, Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet now, sweet pup. All you need is the love. <sighs> Sorry, ugly lady. Not feeling it. It's not working. Get him. <laughs> And look, it's everywhere, the love. <laughs> All right, gang. Now let's see where this uber mystery really leads. Ready? Ready. Like ready. Ready. Professor Pericles is going to regret the day he ever messed with Scooby Dooby Doo. The sphere was never the heart of the jaguar. The heart of the jaguar is something else, Scooby-Doo. At the right moment, when the heart is clear, you will know what to do. Seriously? Just tell me what to do. You will know. You will see. You will feel. Is the infinite. Then I will absorb you and your friends. I will be 
It's always been us. Chinkies, Scooby's right. It can't devour us now, and it couldn't touch us earlier, remember? Not when we stood together. The five of us. Our friendship. Our love for one another. Like, that's the true heart of the Jaguar. And that is something that monster can never take away. Something it can never defeat. It's now or never. Let's do this. That gluten demon just crunched on our friends. Oh, that makes me mad. Come on. Oh, lovely. Let's rumble. Like pick on someone your own super size to size. <laughs> Let's see who the gluten demon really is. Francis Lee Jackson. Oh. <laughs> Scooby Doo! Like hell! I was right. These guinea pigs are just guinea pigs. Scooby, you're a genius! Speed buggy, pull in front of the truck! I've got a plan! Piggy's away! What? No! drawing power from the crystal sarcophagus. It's some kind of portal between dimensions. That means if we shatter it, then we cut that thing's lifeline. They must be stopped! Gang, as a team, go! Scooby-Doo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you ready, innocent canine comrade? Mm -hmm. Then let's save ourselves a town. The antidote to stop Aphrodite has several distinct components. Pewter, found in drought use only in stained glass windows of the 18th century. Ectoplasm, or as it's more commonly known, ghost mucus. And finally, rose quartz, mined in the caves beneath Crystal Cove. The antidote is complete. Now, load the final cylinder. We don't have much time. Let's pack these up quickly. Fools! You think you can stop me? I will have my crown. Crown? Like Scoob? <laughs> Looks like you and your pals are the heroes of this mystery. Let's hear it for the sidekicks. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! <laughs> Scooby, are you okay? Oh, oh, he doesn't look so good, gang. What's happening? I don't feel so, so well. Saggy! Scoob! Scooby Doo, calm down. I'm right here. We're all right here. What happened? You had a fever. You've been delirious for days. Days? But the mystery solver finals. Oh, we blew that off. You know we'd never go without you. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> why? I still can't believe it. Why? 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 But I was there. There was a shark, a caveman, and a doom buggy. Dude, you mean like these? <laughs> It was a dream? I guess I was afraid you'd go without me because you didn't need a sidekick. No way. You're not a sidekick. You're a team member. And besides, they moved the date just so you could go. We haven't told Fred yet. Yeah. The chairman himself came to see how you were doing. Hello. How you doing? Good to see you. A pleasure, even. Look at him. Funky Phantom. Funky Phantom. dog that ever lived. Scooby Dooby Dog! <laughs> Hi, there it is, Scoob. I can already taste the legends. Burgers, fries, onion rings. Wow, we're really here. 
<clears throat> uh, bring us like your most famous food, please. It's the way I always dreamed it. <laughs> it's the way I always smelled it. <sighs> <laughs> Our burgers? We changed management last week. Now we're organic vegan. Those are pureed sprouts and wheat gluten. Oh, uh, like it's not what you think, old pal. Velma and me were just doing a staring contest. Right, Velma? Right. <laughs> you see? Stop it, Shaggy. I'm not stupid. Are you cheating on me? <laughs> cheating like that is just that's crazy talk, Scooby Doo. Cheating, <laughs> please. I mean, you're my dog, Raggy. No, I mean Scoob, old pal of mine. Um, I care for both of you equally. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, really. Like, help me out here. No, I will not help you out here. Why don't you tell Scooby what's really going on between you and me? Yeah, tell me. Oh, boy. Well, Scoob, um, it's kind of like this. On a kind of sort of semi-official basis, me and Velma are like kind of sort of spending more time together than you and me. You got it? Oh, brother. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? I said something that hurt his feelings, didn't I? It's not you, Fred. Scooby's just being a big baby. Mm -hmm. Right, Shaggy? Yeah. If by big baby you mean the best darn grown-up pup ever, then yes, absolutely. Okay, game. Remember, our goal is to go in, find proof that Rusty Nails is behind the Humongonaut attacks, and then get out. I know that we're fighting, but this no eye contact thingy is getting a bit dangerous. Oh, okay. One eye, but no more. <laughs> like, is it me? Or does this feel weird? Yeah, it's strange mistering without the girls. No, I mean sitting shotgun. <laughs> like, I never get a ride up here. It's awesome. <laughs> Stereo. If you were a vampire, where would you hide out? The clam cabin? The pizza pail? Right! Let's try the cemetery. Which is why we need to keep watch on companies who pollute nature. Isn't that right, Shaggy and Scooby? Pardon? Are you aware that Grandma Moonbeam's nature slivers are manufactured by Destroido? And every bite you take supports the biggest polluter in Crystal Cove? No, but they're, like, super good. Yeah, what one? I don't even know why I let you take this class. In here. <laughs> Hold on to my horses. This mystery just got hairier, don't you know? Friends and the guinea pigs. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Saggy, can you hear me? Drop one pillow for yes and two for no. Would you do it for a Scooby Snack? <laughs> oh. That is not Shaggy. No way. Uh, uh. If some great big evil dude buried under Crystal Cove has been controlling us, like, we have to question everything. We've been best buds since you were a pup, but, like, how do we even know we're really best buds? Could not best buds do this? <laughs> Like, not 
gotten a gazillion years. The only clue from this investigation I've got so far is that Motor Bjorklund and the Graveyard Ghoul are pretty much the same height. That's reason enough to stay and eat more meatballs. You said it, Scoob. Let's meatball up. Welcome, everyone, to Fruit Myers. Remember, it's not ice cream. It's not yogurt. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. Would anyone like a shrimping boat made out of circus balloons? I don't get it. All this fuss over... What is this stuff again? You heard Franklin Fruit Meyer. It's a secret. That's why they call it Fruit Myers. <laughs> we'll give away five with every churro purchased. Good plan, Dad. Especially since Velma and her friends haven't been able to solve our manticore problem. Hot dog water's right. We need to focus, concentrate. Yeah, let's find some clues. <laughs> yeah, this is like hard work. How about a break, Scoob? Okay. Woohoo! Roller coaster. Actually, this is like as good of a place to search for clues as anywhere else. Good point, Waggy. I mean, who's to say that up here we won't find some sign of the... <laughs> Manticore! <laughs> Farewell, mortals. <laughs> Once again, to your dough. Scoob, this isn't good! No, not good. But this is worse! Like Scooby-Doo, old pal, this is it. The last hamburger. We've already eaten all of our snacks. I was saving this for an emergency. This is an emergency. That's the last hamburger. Ow! Oh, looks like we're roughing it from here, Raggy. Oh, thank goodness you're alive. By the way, you owe me for those three rides. What happened, you guys? It was like the manticore. <laughs> he grabbed us. What's with the voices, you two? You sound like you've been sucking on helium balloons. Maybe this is what happens when you inhale too much manticore. You are nothing but insignificant polyps on the corner of humanity. Yes, sir! Order, sir! Private hippie, did I not tell you to shave that growth off your chin? Wait, dude, sir, um, it's kind of got a mind of its own. I'm, like, not even sure really what it is. Private hippie, do you take me for a fool? Um, sir, do you really want me to answer that? Huh? What the... Leave my private hippie. I mean, Shaggy alone. Scooby-Doo! <laughs> like, boy, am I glad to see you! We're under attack, boys! Remember your training. <laughs> no, teenagers. Like, how did you find me? No mayor. Crystal Cove's being attacked by an evil man-baby clown. They need us. Mm, poor Dylan. He lost Brenda and his car in the same night. Poor Dylan? Poor us! It's snack time! So, like, where's the snacks, huh? Sorry, guys. I forgot to pick something up. Can you skip the snacks today? Skip snacks? You take that back now. Hey, kids, did someone say snack time? <laughs> like snack pot! Snack of mania, I'm in heaven. <laughs> so you were attacked by a robot dog, the same robot dog who you say attacked that tour bus. That's right.
And this robot dog, he looks like your real dog? Yes. Supposing this robot dog really exists, how do I know he doesn't belong to your real dog? The mastermind criminal dog, he's bound to have a closet full of robot dogs back home. Sheriff Stone, we're serious. He's still out there. Sheriff Bronson Stone. Sheriff, you've got to help us. The animal asylum is under attack by some sort of fright hound. Well, that's great. While you kids have been wasting my time with your imaginary robot dog, a fright hound has attacked the asylum. The asylum? If we don't get the Scooby quick, like, the robot will. <laughs> Doing. I think it's looking for something. I've got something for him. Come on. short on powder rooms it sure is long on plumbing well scoob looks like we're being hunted down by our best friends in the whole world guess we need to do something besides the old standbys quivering and whimpering <laughs> lock now what would daphne do she'd trick the lock good thing i always carry my portable pocket lunch utensils would have been proud. Well, hello. What's this gizmo? If I were Velma, I'd try to figure it out. Hmm. Let's see. Ah! It works. But what does it do? The people 
people of Sorghum City may love that fool Jack Rogers, or Dapper Jack, as they call him. They think he's kind. They think he's warm-hearted. They think he's generous. Always willing to lend a hand. But if life has taught me anything, it is that anything one man has, another man may take. And I mean to take this town's love from the so-called Dapper Jack. Yes, Sheriff Carmichael wanted everyone to love him the way they loved Dapper Jack, so he framed him for cattle wrestling. He turned the whole town against him. Here, he says he had trouble catching Jack because of his amazing abilities on horseback, which, as you've all seen, his descendant Shaggy inherited from him. Does he say anything about not being able to grow a full beard? Because I definitely inherited that from someone. Now listen to this. May 17th, 1867. Finally caught Dapper Jack by Minchel Pike. He was a fast draw, but a poor shot. As it turns out, Jack Rogers is more useful dead than he ever was alive. I can commit all manner of crimes and blame Dapper Jack, the great outlaw. The whole town curses his name. One day, I will simply disappear for a week or so, then return with a tale of tracking down and ending Dapper Jack. I will be remembered forever as a hero, while Jack Rogers' name goes down in the annals of infamy. Well, clearly the sheriff was a byproduct of bad parenting. Just as Sheriff Carmichael used Dapper Jack to steal from the town, someone else is now using Dapper Jack's ghost to steal from the town. And that someone is... Rafe! <gasps> <laughs> Why, that's just plain... Uh... <laughs> After him! <laughs> Howdy, partner. Nice robin, Scooby-Doo. It was you? But why? <sighs> I lined up a deal with a company that builds resorts. They offered millions for the Sorghum City area. But why would you pretend to be a ghost? The company wanted to theme the resort around Dapper Jack the Outlaw. So I came up with the fake ghost. It would build up interest in the outlaw stories. And it would scare people off so I could buy their land through my company, Black Rattler Management. How'd you know it was me? Simple. You said you built the Dude Ranch's website yourself, and you used El Kabong font. No professional would use that font. No one with any taste or self-respect would... Easy. How's the canoeing? Now it's time to get some answers. 
Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the woodsman. Huh? You're not the woodsman. You're that gorgeous counselor from Big Moose. I'm Jessica. If you don't mind me asking, young lady, why are you sneaking around our camp after lights out? I didn't mean to scare you guys, but some of our camping equipment has gone missing, and, well, I thought it might be you little moosers playing a prank. Little moosers don't pull pranks. We leave that to those snobs at Camp Big Moose. Uh, no offense. Stolen camping gear? Monster attacks? What is going on? <laughs> Get out! You don't have to tell us twice! <laughs> <laughs> I think we lost him. Like I spoke too soon. <laughs> Maybe he'll give up. Oh, uh, Scoob, now is not the time to stop. <laughs> no more woo. You okay? No. Me neither. <laughs> I found a picture of this sundial on one of the castle walls. When the moon is full and you twist it like so... the man who brought the castle over here from Ireland. Wow. <laughs> like dig that crazy toothpick. <laughs> Shaggy, that's the magic staff he used to summon and control the griffin. What? I thought you said the griffin was a myth. I didn't want the others to be frightened. I'm telling you because you're brave. Well, Shaggy, well. <laughs> 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 like, what's all this gruesome graffiti? It says, Winged Protector, arise and guard this castle. <laughs> Don't look now, but I think it's a lizard. Sesame! Open sesame! Open sesame! No! This way, guys! <laughs> <laughs> 
Us. The threat is real. Too real. Look, it's Shaggy and Scooby. And Mr. Hyde. Come on. <laughs> Scooby, that way, the big balloon. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
like whoever heard such a ridiculous story. A 10-foot hairy monster with big feet and sharp teeth? Sounds like something out of a cartoon. Well, like pleasant dreams, Scoob. <sighs> See you in the morning. <laughs> like it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something outside the window. Mm -hmm. Probably just a little bird or a squirrel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, El Kama Juju! I mean the Kukumaka! El Kama Juju! You know what I mean? Help! No, Scoop! He's trying to break in! Like we're trapped! Let's get out of here! <laughs> to you two. And what was all that noise? Like that big Mexican Bigfoot was trying to get us. Oh no. Where's Daphne? Oh no you don't. This is no time to be chicken. It's all for one and one for all. Like I've always felt, teamwork was highly overrated. Yeah. Okay, guys. On the count of three, we'll charge the door. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! You don't go to Camp Big Moose. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Scoob, let's get out of here. was close. Whatever you do, do, do not move. Got it. Look out! Canyon. This place creeps me out. Come on, that RV's got to be around here somewhere. That's weird. The tracks just come to a stop. An entire RV doesn't just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tokyo Airspace. It's nice to meet you. What is your name? May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. I have to go now. Bye-bye. Follow me. I will show you. 
I am sorry. I cannot help you. You are very nice. Please take my picture. I think we lost them. Huh? Oh, speaking of losing, like we're losing altitude. Ah! <laughs> 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 It's okay, Scoob. Like, just keep telling yourself there's no such things as monsters. There are no monsters. There are no monsters. There are no monsters. <laughs> what is it, Scoob? Monster! Monster! Like, boy, do I hope you're wrong. Look! Look, Scooby-Doo! It's just a tree branch knocking against that window. <laughs> That's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Now the kitchen's got to be around here somewhere. Let's try down this way. Now, stay close, buddy. We don't want anything scary sneaking up on... G -g 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 ghost! Ghost? <laughs> well... Huh? Like run for a school! <laughs> we did it, Scoob. Safe and sound. Like Zoinks, I think we just locked ourselves outside of the castle. Uh -oh. Well, look at the bright side, Scoob. At least it's not raining. Good thinking, old pal. It'll take more than a rainstorm to dampen our spirits, huh? <laughs> hey! When you take a look behind you, what do you see? If you've been hanging on to something, it's really just enough, it seems to me. So tell me, have you found the knives going round and around? No way to the top can bring you down When it all falls apart, you gotta keep it together Wherever you go, I'll be there by your side I want you to know that we're brothers forever If the bottom drops out, we'll hang on for the ride Castles may stand, but they don't last forever Save what you can, let the rest of it slide to whatever Soon you'll be coming out The other side Everybody's running Thinking they could just be hot tea Open your eyes and realize This life is just a crazy mystery So how can you have any fun The trouble's got you out of the road Huh? <gasps>
Like Zoinks! It's right outside! Not to worry, mes amis. Come, I show you something you like, eh? Like it's a laser light show. You see? The traps, they are set. First, I catch the monster. Then, Shaggy and Scooby, they will go home. What? Huh? Like I get it now? You're no tour guide? No, mon frère. I am Alphonse Lafleur, the greatest hunter in all the world. And we're just monster bait to help you catch that ice cold cretin. Yeah, monster bait. <laughs> At last, the creature, he is here! And like we're gone, man, real gone! <laughs> Mess with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> 